So good morning, I'm Andy, and uh, we're going to take you through the Castillo household and our morning routine. It's uh, about 6 a.m., and um, and this is, uh, this is Frankie, who is coming up to the camera right now. Frankie has uh, FIV, and uh, we adopted Frankie from uh, my mother-in-law, who passed away recently. Frankie and his brother came to us. This is Allie. She's a foster kitty of ours, uh, a long-term foster. She's 15 years old. She was at Meow Cat Rescue and uh, not being adopted because she was uh, a little bit cranky, has some arthritis and some pain going on. So um, she's on pain medications and uh, she's in kidney failure and uh, um, so she's kind of here hanging out and having a, a good quality of life uh, for what time we have with her. This is Percy, who is uh, <laughs> now getting right up in the camera too. That's Frankie's uh, brother from another mother. He's also FIV positive, and um, uh, Frankie and Percy actually were from an a organization down in Oregon called CAT. And the cat adoption team and uh, they became friends at cat and stayed in the shelter there for about three years together before Mark's mother finally adopted them and then they came to our home in May when she passed uh, this is Libby oh she just walked out of the picture oh there goes Libby we'll meet Libby later okay so um, this is Fanny this little uh, blue cream tabby here she has megacolon and is fecal incontinent, and um, she's on a special diet, but other than that, uh, she's okay. She's two years old, and um, she's living here with us because uh, she was kind of deemed unadoptable since she can't control uh, her feces. And this is Mojo. Mojo is five years old. Um, he is one of the subjects of our of our project and um, he has cerebellar hypoplasia. He's uh, mildly affected by that. He does have uh, a funny walk, a little bit of a funny walk, a high stepping gait. And then he also has uh, depth perception issues. So he tends to be very clumsy when he jumps onto things. He overshoots or undershoots them quite regularly. Hey, Mike. Good morning. Good morning. You ready for breakfast? All right. There's Shadow. Shadow is our uh, diabetic kitty that we are fostering from Meow. He uh, is not regulated, and so we're doing blood tests, uh, blood glucose tests twice a day on him and uh, giving him insulin shots. We're trying to get him regulated so that he can be adopted, but it's not looking very hopeful. He also has FIV, so that's kind of exacerbating the problem. Right. All right, so in the morning, we come into the old folks' room down here at Casa de Castillo, and we start the feeding process. This is Mischief. Mischief is, uh, was adopted as a kitten 16 years ago from uh, the Humane Society here in um, uh, the Seattle area, and uh, she's got... Uh, a lot of arthritis. She's on pain medications for arthritis and some anti-inflammatories for that, but otherwise she's uh, perfectly healthy and going strong. All right, let's get going. Okay, and everybody here is on a special uh, kidney diet because of their age and condition. And they love their French knees. Um, I know. Mojo has to be taken out because this is not his breakfast. Mwah. We'll have that later. Okay, you go there. And Libby, there's Libby the rescue dog. Come on, lady. Hi. Say hi, lady. Say hi, lady. <laughs> oh, Percy. Do you 
some of your bowls. Here's your bowl. Come on, Bubba. Come on. There you go. There you go. Get your water birds. Everybody gets slicing shoes to support their immune system. All right. Come on, Alice. There you go, sweet girl. Here you go, Percy. Mischief enjoys her toy on while she's eating. Allie is getting some medications. She gets uh, gabapentin, which is a pain medication for her arthritis. And she also is on an antibiotic right now because she has some... Uh, upper respiratory infection from chronic herpes, which she encounters periodically. She hates pill pockets, so we are going to disguise that. Daddy, Hi, Alice. You want that one? That's a good girl. Oh, Lord. Here we go. You're too busy with your breakfast. Here you go. Mr. Pitt. For Gabba Penton. room. And we're going to move upstairs. There's Mojo. He wants to get upstairs and have breakfast. This is Special K. Special K is also the subject of our project. Uh, he's a nine-year-old uh, male, also adopted through Meow. Uh, he, he came to us with his brother when they were four months old, and his brother was diagnosed as terminal with FIP, and uh, so we kept them together to live out what time his brother had, and it ended up that his brother lived for six years. So, um, so Special K uh, <laughs> is, uh, he thinks he's the dominant male here uh, now that his brother has passed and a couple of the other uh, senior kitties upstairs have passed. And so he's, uh, 
And then there's Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice is also nine years old, and he was adopted at uh, Meow. He has um, he has chronic IBD, and uh, his beautiful coat right now is more of a fever coat. He became very ill several months ago and was hospitalized, had a high fever, and had a lot of uh, IBD issues, and uh, we had to shave him, and when his fur grew back, it's still growing back, uh, he's got this fever coat, so he's a beautiful silver fox. Hi, Shadow. There's Mojo waiting for his breakfast. Hi, bud. All right. Okay, and he and uh, he and Beetlejuice and Special K all kind of get into it in the morning. So Bobbin is Mojo's sister. She is more severe cerebellar hypoplasia, and um, she makes it down the stairs okay. And she comes down to the landing in the morning because um, she's so excited for breakfast. But uh, she can't come back up the stairs, so she's usually the first the first stop in the morning to pick up. And carry upstairs for breakfast. Come on, sweet girl. And she gets very antsy being held, so we put her down and let her do her own thing. She's going to go get ready for her breakfast. All right, so Mojo gets fluoxetine in the morning, and sometimes he gets a little overzealous and wants it before we go in for breakfast. Um, I give special K treats to keep him appeased. Shadow is going to need to be put away. It's okay, Shadow. Come on. You don't belong in here anyway. Come on. You're just here for the taping. So Shadow has to be put away during feeding times because it's not time for him to eat yet. are on a hypoallergenic diet. Uh, Special K has asthma and he has a number of um, skin related allergies that uh, we haven't pinpointed yet so as to what he's allergic to. So they're on a hypoallergenic diet. Uh, he gets as uh, inhaler and 
uh, steroids for his asthma. And then Beetlejuice has IBD, and so he's on a hypoallergenic diet as well because it seems to be, uh, well, it's diet-related. Mr. Wiggles and Cricket. And they are, they have severe cerebellar hypoplasia and they're freaked out by the camera. Come on, guys. Come on, Cricket. Come on, Wiggins. Come on, Mr. Wiggles. They eat laying down. There's a good boy. There's a good boy. You ready? Are you ready? Where's your sis? Huh? Where's your sissy? Boy. Boy. There's a boy. Boy. Here's your poop. Go get a poop. Go get a poop. Mr. Wiggins, food. There we go. That's a good boy. All right. Come on, Cricket. Come on, Cricket. There's a good boy. Hi. Come on. Come on, let's go, Cricket. Be scared. Cricket supports herself in this cat tree to eat her breakfast. Say hi, Cricket. So as I mentioned, they have more severe cerebellar hypoplasia. Mr. Wiggles has uh, some kind of a swallowing disorder as well. So he has to be on pretty solid wet food. Um, he chokes on anything that is, is real watery and he aspirates it, so he's on medication pretty much for the rest of his life to help with that condition as well. I think Cricket is the only one in the household who's not on medication of some kind. All right, Bubba. There we go. Come on, mess him. You can mess him. Cricket and Wiggles also um, don't navigate a litter box very well, and so we have resorted to pee pads on the floor, which they seem to do very well with. There we go. But it's kind of messy for us. There we go. There we go. How are you doing, baby girl?
something else. in this box a lot. A lot All right, Beetlejuice. found us last year and we're working on making him an indoor kitty but he's not having too much of it yet so we've got a safe spot for him outside that's heated we've had him microchipped and vaccinated and he gets three meals a day <laughs> yeah. very happy Still very leery of other people, though. Seems like the camera. <laughs> Hi, Fanny. Hi, little girl. Is it time for breakfast? Is it time for breakfast? And this is Toby. Toby is, um, he's not a permanent resident here, and he was a community cat that was found hanging outside of a restaurant uh, on Lake Union down in Seattle. He uh, is about a four-year-old. He was an altered male at the time, and um, one of our rescuer slash trappers uh, trapped him, got him neutered, and um, realized that he couldn't be put back out as you would with a feral cat because he's very tame. So he's just a little bit untrusting yet of people and so he's here to get a little bit of socialization before we work to get him um, adopted out into a home. But he's super sweet. He's coming along very well. Uh, he's been at the rescuer's home for about four weeks and he's been here for about a week. Uh, he's doing very well and he really, really enjoys uh, people and uh, the other cats here at the house. So it won't be long before we find a home for him. He's a good boy. That's a good boy. You want your breakfast? Okay. Come on. Come on up here. This 
Where's your shadow? Come on. Come on, shadow. Uh, as I mentioned, he's our diabetic kitty that we're fostering for Meow. And um, he has to have his blood glucose tested every 12 hours to determine uh, what level of insulin he's going to need to keep him uh, steady for the day. So Mark and I test his sugar every morning by just poking his ear uh, using a glucometer and test strips. And then I document his glucose and his feeding regimen every day and any changes to that so that we can keep track and see what's going to work best for him long term. The goal is to get him stabilized so that he can be adopted out uh, to a home as a, a, a do you need this? Um, as a easier to care for cat. There's that. Then we pinch that off and now he gets to have his breakfast, which he'll be very happy about. He's very food aggressive. Um, his blood glucose is at 550, which is super duper high. Um, he's supposed to be around 100. And um, this is kind of the norm for him. He's in the 300 to 500 or 600 range most often. We've had a very hard time getting him regulated. And... Um, and so we just continue working on it every day and we're working with doctors to, to see what the best uh, plan of action is for him. But until he gets stabilized, or if he never does, he will have a home here. We love him very much and he's, uh, and he's a good addition, even if he does take a lot of, a lot of extra care. Here's breakfast and his insulin injection. And we use the light so that we can see what we're doing. All right, buddy, you're good to go. So Moji and Bobbin have had their breakfast and Mojo now needs his inhaler because he has asthma, but he has a heart condition. So he cannot be on steroids, uh, which is typical for tri typical treatment for asthma. Uh, he can't be on that because of his heart condition. Well, you got to put on your nose. <laughs> um, and so he gets the inhaler as well. And um, we also wanted to show Mojo's uh, morning routine. So after he's eaten, he um, usually will crawl up on my shoulders and, and we take him downstairs. But uh, this first. Want him to eat? Yeah, we have to have our medicine first. through the whole thing. He doesn't seem to mind it very much. That's because he gets lots of freeze-dried salmon when he's done. Don't you? Okay. Bobbin, you want to tie too? Come on. Are you so good girl? Good girl, honey. Yes, good girl. Super happy. So normally I would take him downstairs this way. We walk through the upstairs and we go downstairs. He does like to stay um, upstairs, but um, this is where he gets attacked. Do you want to come down? That's okay. I guess she wants to move back in. Okay, do you want to come down on the shelf? Huh? No? Okay. All right. Do you 
doing this, the upstairs? I know.